Well, hi and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, this ch video is a build video, but it's not one of my usual balsa and ply or even foam Depron models. No, this, this build is, believe it or not, a 3D printed model. Now, I've had 3D printers for about the last four years or so. And I've always fought shy of printing a model, a flying model, purely simply because the ones that I'd seen I didn't much like, the designs I'd seen online I didn't really like, um, and also concern about even printing with PLA, lightweight PLA, heat and what effect that's going to have on the model if it's sitting in the car on a sunny day. Anyway, regarding the material, Along came Bamboo Labs last year with a different type of lightweight filament called ASA Lightweight, offering all the, the um, benefits of expanding foam um, filament for lightness, obviously, but also the advantages of like ABS or ASA. So better in strength, uh, better in terms of strength and better in terms of temperature resistance as well. So when I've been building my um, Jetworks Park Jet Eurofighter, which is predominantly a Depron model but with a lot of 3D printed parts, I've been using the ASA and I was quite pleasantly surprised with the results. Anyway, cut a long story short, the other day I was looking online at doing something, can't remember what it was, and I came across this website that had some rather nice uh, models on it for 3D printing. And it's a website, I'll put the link down below, called Eclipson. And one of the models that really took my fancy, because it's one of my all-time favourites as a sort of sport glider, is the Fox. Um, I had the big FMX 3-metre uh, Fox, loved flying that, but a bit unwieldy and it was foam. And of course you get hanger rash, so I sold that on. And this one really took my fancy because it's small, it's two meter wingspan, but it is 3D printed. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. So I'm using ASA uh, lightweight filament to print it in. And I must admit so far, the results have been really good. I say so far, I haven't finished printing it. In terms of total time, it's about 50 hours of printing for the various parts, and then obviously you've got to glue them together. Um, in terms of cost, because ASA filament is more or less double the cost of PLA, this is coming in about £20, which, let's face it, if you add that to the cost of the plan, which is about £35, for £55 um, for a bare airframe, that isn't too bad. Anyway, enough of the waffle. Let's go on to the building board, and I'll show you how far I've got with it so far. It's not complete. It's only partly complete, but I thought it was an ideal opportunity now to jump in and see what I've done. So I'll go on the building board and have a look. Okay, so I've got some of the parts laid out for the wing um, and basically when you're printing it, you'd be printing out sections like this um, and this one alone took about three hours to print. Really clever design, like a geotechnic, geotechnic construction um, in terms of how it prints and the way you put it together is you incorporate a carbon spar going right the way through. Now this one I've this part I've already joined with the various sections. You've got one more there, one there, one there, and one there. And there's a carbon spar, an eight millimeter carbon spar that goes through there. And then when you join the wings together, there's a 10 mil carbon spar that goes through as well. Simply glued together using uh, super glue. I've actually gone out and bought some mitre glue, 
which is super glue here um, mainly because it is a big bottle I didn't know how much I'm going to use but also it's quite a thick consistency which helps when you're joining these parts together so the idea is these have got a little lip on them here and they just slide in like so and then stuck with super glue now one of the problems that I had with printing the parts was that the um, Eclipse on website is absolutely brilliant it gives you loads of details and it gives you some print profiles for your printer uh, in my case the bamboo labs x1 carbon and it gives you the print profile for how the print will be carried out um, the method of printing is with a vase print or spiral vase which means that as this on the build plate rather than the print head going backwards and forwards like that between the layers a vase print spiral vase it goes round in a circle obviously going zigzagging in, in and out for the, um, the the honeycomb construction it gives you that and there are also other parameters as well one of the parameters that it listed on the detailed instructions was that the print should have four bottom layers so in other words with it on the print bed the printer should print four thicknesses of base layer before it, before it rises up with the rest of the wing unfortunately the electronic file that they give you for uh, uploading into your printer had all of the settings in place apart from the settings for the oh sorry the setting for the base layers the build plate layers consequently when I printed the wing parts and I printed all of them before I realized my mistake what it did was the base as you can see there is actually is hollow there is no like a build plate off that which is wrong and I thought well should I leave it like that and I did on all of the other wing pieces I left it like that but then reprinted these bottom pieces correctly and it's got this plate in place now I think that a problem that I've got with the wing and I didn't bother reprinting the whole lot is that as the, the sections were being printed what was happening on the print bed was a slight warping of the end of the panel lifting off the build plate giving it a slight curve so consequently when I put this piece into there you can probably see there there is a gap where this piece here that was printed lifted off the build plate at the front and the back and this happened on that piece as well not these pieces so much because they're narrower and I think that problem was caused by not having the solid base on the print but I'm not going to bother to reprint the whole wing um, because it's time and it's it's we don't need to. I will use lightweight filler and actually infill that. And if I use a straight edge, you can better see what I mean there. You can see there where it's curved away there and there. Of course, what I could do is use a sandpaping sandpaper block. And, and sand that down but I've still got this lip here which is to the curve so I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to use lightweight filler to infill the bits they're not too bad you're not going to notice them once they're filled because a the whole lot is going to be sprayed anyway so 
So let's get on and glue these parts together. Now one of the things to do is to put the carbon fibre spar in place because that helps jig and align the pieces. like so. Now this isn't going to be glued in because this is a removable spar because obviously it's a two-piece wing. So all I'm going to do now, let's just move that one out of the way, is use my super glue and give this a good coating When I say a good coating, I don't mean a enough of a coating so that it all spreads out of the end of the joints and everything. But bearing in mind this is all that's holding it together, we need to have a fairly decent joint between the two. And I do like using this thicker super glue. That's neatly lined up. You know that's nice and level now. There. Go. And the next thing to do is just to give it a spray with the accelerator or the activator. There we go, that's fine. So let's remove. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> and the same with this one. Obviously, the wing is going to be rubbed down. give it a good um, surface because there are little ridges where the, the joints are in here, not too bad. And as I said, where I've got this gap here, that will be filled with lightweight filler. So I'm not too worried about that. But pretty good. Now the, the aerolons are going to have to wait because they all fit together with, um, I suppose, captive hinges is the right way to describe it. So I've got the aerolons here, which are printed with a horn already in place. And they fit on like so and fit into the wing. But you'll see there, there's a hinge point there. And the way it works is a pin goes into the into the wing there. A pin goes into the wing tip here and goes into the end of the aerial on one end and aerial on the other end. <clears throat> and then there's one a hinge point in the middle. So the sequence of operations are that the pin goes in to the wing. This half of the aerolon goes in, the hinge is put in place there with the pin. This is then glued on to the other aerolon half. And then the last bit of the wing, the tip with the pin in, gets put in place. So it captures or capt yeah, well, captures, captivates, encloses, whatever you want to call it, the aerolon in place. So that's the wing construction. There are servo bays here, uh, cable runs going all the way down through here. There are servo plates which will have to go on there um, obviously afterwards. There are recesses for the wingtip wheels. 
for all in all it's a very very good design and I am impressed with it I really am nice design um, not a lot of flex in that wing with the carbon the 8 mil carbon rod in there <clears throat> And so with this rod in place as well, that whole wing becomes very, very stiff. Just thread that through. So that wing is a very, very stiff wing, which is good. And a novel way of installing the wings into the fuselage, which I'll show later when I've um, built the fuselage. It's printing off at the moment. Got about another, I would say about another eight hours of printing to be done on that and uh, we'll come back when that's done. So that was the uh, first build video. Hopefully it won't be any more than about maybe four build videos of this model before we get to the maiden flight. So the next one is going to be uh, the fuselage which is printing off at the moment and I'll assemble that. I've already printed off the the tail feathers uh, so they can be assembled as well. Um, so yeah, it should be quite a quick build, I think, anyway. So hopefully, as I said, no more than about four videos. I'm waiting for delivery of the uh, servos, the motor, and the folding props as well, 8 per 6 prop. So they should be coming in the next couple of days. So all being well, in about three, four days' time, maybe by the beginning of next week, uh, the build will be complete, all bar the painting. So, Anyway guys, you know the score, you know what to do. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like down below, thumbs up. Um, any comments, please put them in. As I said before, I'll put links to the Eclipse on website and the specific model that I am uh, building or putting together assembling. It's not really building, I suppose. But uh, anyway, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.